In this spreadsheet, we're going to want to multiply the units and costs in each row to get the total revenue for each item. To do that, I need to select the total cell here. And from there, click on the Function button here in my toolbar, and then click Create Formula. Or I can simply press the Equal button on my keyboard when the cell is selected. That brings up a field into which I can enter my function. Notice that the Format Inspector has switched to the Function Browser, which displays all the functions that can be used in numbers. We're going to start off really simply here. Each cell is seen by numbers as a combination of its column and row. So this cell is known as B2. The one to the right is C2. So if I type in B2 times C2 and hit enter, I get the correct total. I can edit this to add the two numbers or divide them. I'm going to delete that and show a quicker way to set that up. I'll hit the equal key, but then rather than typing in the cell names, I can just click on them. So I'll click on B2, hit multiply on my keyboard, and then click C2. I'm going to add some product names now in the header column. So now we have four products, paper, stapler, scissors, and a trash bin. Notice that the formula has taken on the names assigned in the header row and column, not the generic B2 and C2. To get the rest of the totals here, I can simply copy the function from this cell and paste it into the others. Numbers is smart enough to know that I'm moving down a row, so that it automatically shifts the formula to be applied to that row. Now to add up the totals, I can select a cell, hit equal, and add up these cells, which will work just fine. But if I add another product, its total doesn't get added in here. So I want to have the total here for this whole column, even if I add more items. So I'm going to select the cell. Then click the Function button and choose Sum. That adds up the whole column. If I add another row, its total will get added up as well. For the units column, I'll also want to get the sum. And for the cost column, maybe I'd like to see the average. I could also add another footer row here to display the average units and average total. Of course, all these numbers are all live. If I change a cost or a unit, the associated functions will adjust accordingly. 